everybody, we are back. It is Tape Don't Lie, your favorite Raiders podcast, favorite Raiders channel, favorite Raiders breakdowns. We're back with the Carfax Week 9. And we already know what happened against the Giants games. We're definitely one of Derek Carr's worst games. But first of all, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the like button if you like it. Hit the dislike button if you don't like it. Leave a, leave a comment if you like it. Leave a bad comment if you dislike it. You guys already know the deal. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter at the Mark John NFL at BD Williams 18 and manscaped.com discount code TDL. It's almost Christmas, guys. And for the ladies, get your man ready. All right. So, yeah, we're going over Derek Carr today. It's all red zone, guys. It's number red zone. That was the big problem. You know, a lot of people are freaking out. I think the Raiders just suck in the red zone because John Gruden is, is, was the coach. But, you know, we'll see if that is the same case. All right? So let's get into it. Let's just, let's just, let's just go. All right? So first play, I mean, the first red zone trip, they scored a touchdown. Right? So we got the play action ISO out. I mean, this is straight up play action. We're going to Hunter Renfro one-on-one. We're going to get him one-on-one, which I think the Raiders should do more in the red zone. And this is a great route from Hunter Renfro. And this is a play we've never seen. We've never seen the Raiders do like an ISO out like this. So this is definitely a Greg Olson special. Great route by Hunter Renfro. Touchdown. Right? So, I mean, it started off It started off so good, right? Everybody's so excited. So excited on this one. It's easy read for Derek. I mean, this is straight up the play action. Sucks up the linebackers. One-on-one. Hunter Renfro wins the one-on-one. Touchdown. And that's what you need in the red zone, guys, right? So, all right, let's get into this next play, right? So this is the, the second play in the red zone. Sorry, not the second play, the second time in the red zone, right? When the red zone failure started to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down. So we got the peel concept, play action peel. So peel is a post wheel. So you see the post from Brian Edwards, and then you see the wheel route from Darren Waller, and then you see a corner route from Zay Jones, and then you get the, the split zone motion off the play action from Foster Moreau. So this is a, a great play action play. This is the first time I've ever seen Peel from in the red zone from the Raiders. So you see uh, Derek Carr opens up to Zay Jones, right? Then he comes back to the wheel for Darren Waller, which moves the linebacker, right? So he uses eye manipulation to move the linebacker. And then he anticipates and throws it behind him, but the linebacker does a good job getting his hand up. But the ball still goes off Edwards' hands, right? He didn't get that too much of a tip. They still think Edwards should have came down with this one. You'll see it on the back end, right? You see kind of how the eyes work a little bit better right there boom right off his hands all right man he's got to catch that football we need he was supposed to be a contested catch guy for the raiders they need him in the red zone right so next play this is the the following place is a smash return so we'll watch we're running real quick watch it incomplete Ugh. right so the red zone was super frustrating for the raiders all game as you can see so this one is smash return which you know, this is a play that you know John Gruden liked to run a lot and the Raiders haven't run it too much in the red zone since John Gruden has left but here we are again so you know we got the the two return routes and then we got smash and then we got a, uh, a corner from Zay Jones and then a post route from Brian Edwards all right so let's go ahead and run this one all right so Derek Carr he wants Hunter Renfro right and you kind of see there's like a double team coming down on Renfro, which they did for most of the game afterwards, after Renfro had that first play. So Derek Carr, he sees that. He also sees Logan Ryan going towards Brian Edwards. So he comes off it and he comes to the backside of the play. All right, backside, right to Darren Waller. He ends up dropping that ball. But I still think Darren Waller, he's got to get his hands out, man. You can't expect that ball to come to your body in tight coverage. He's got to use his strong hands to make that play. All right? And, you know, and you know, some people would say there's probably an opportunity to throw to Brian Edwards here uh, on the back end. Um, I would say, when if you're watching a linebacker here, you're watching see Logan Ryan, he goes towards Brian Edwards. I mean, Derek Carr's looking right at him, right? And if he keeps looking at him, Logan Ryan's going to go backwards, right? He would have to throw that ball over Brian Edwards, you know, over longer Ryan, hopefully Logan Ryan doesn't tip it and other guys pick it. So, I mean, it could have been a possibility for the hit it. It had to be a perfect throw, but the better decision was to go to Darren Waller and then Darren Waller got to get his hands up, right? So, I mean, he, if he, Carr was super aggressive, he could have hit Edwards in the back of the end zone and just throw that ball as high as he can, could, but it also could have got tipped and it could have been an interception and everybody had been upset about that. So, all right, so next play, all right? We got a little four verts, halfback choice. 
you know, Derek Carr got a little greedy on this one. I think he should have just kind of stuck with kind of how the, the concept works on this one. All right. So we got four verts first half pack choice, right? So this is right before halftime. They're right in the red zone after a seven yard play to Hunter Renfro. You got the half pack choice route. And you got the four verts on this one. So usually, usually Derek Carr goes to the choice right here, right? I've, I've seen this a uh, couple for, you know, a couple times in the past couple of years, especially last year, you see him go to the choice route. But this year, he, he pump fakes and he's going to Hunter Renfro, right? He's trying to throw a touchdown to Hunter Renfro. Kind of saw this play, you know, to Brian Edwards earlier in the season a little bit. But, I mean, there wasn't a choice route with it. You see Kenyon Drake under it, right? So he knows. Derek Carr knows. He just, he's like, I'm going to throw a touchdown. So he comes down to Kenyon Drake, right? But it's too late because Brandon Parker's already lost. So it's too late. Um, I mean, since he didn't go there at the first originally, it's, and Brandon Parker's already lost. It's too late. He has to get out of the pocket. And then, I mean, he could have threw that ball a little earlier than Zay Jones, right? But, you know, scramble drill. Sometimes it can be a little messed up on that type of situation. So, all right, so here we go. Next play. This is the Darren Waller miss. And I know this is, this is going to be upsetting. And I kind of want to uh, have a little debate in the comments with something on this play, right? So, yeah, Derek Carr just airmails this pass. Okay, he just airmails it. It's terrible. All right. So, I actually love this play. Okay, this is a great play design. This is choice spot go. So, usually... It's a dig route from Darren Waller on this, okay? So Darren Waller usually runs a dig route, but he's gonna run a go, all right? So this is a totally flip change variation, catches the Giants off guard. That's why Darren Waller is wide open, okay? So here we go, let's, let's run this play. So like I said, this is awesome design. Darren Waller's wide open, right? But Derek Carr, he's looking at the safety and, right, to hold him, I guess. And then he throws it, still looking at the safety. Like, I, 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 I was really confused by this one. So he's staring at the safety here, right? There's oh, wide open behind him. Darren Waller, he misses it. Now, I'm going to show this on the back end, all right, guys? And I want you to debate if he's trying to no-look this pass because I feel like he's trying to no-look this. And that, that bothers me. <laughs> yeah, just, like, you guys decide. Okay, so slow motion, right? Slow motion. He looks at Darren Waller. Okay, so that's where Darren Waller's going, right? That's where that's where Darren Waller's going, right? So he, but he holds Logan Ryan. He's not looking at Darren Waller. Darren Waller's over there. But he's still looking forward. And he throws it. Like, was he trying to... I don't know. You guys tell me. I feel like that he was trying to look that pass. Which is just ridiculous. I mean, the Raiders yeah. needed a touchdown. You know what I mean? Like, what are you, what are you doing? Dude, just showtime car over here. All right. So, here we go. Next play. This is uh, the third red zone trip. Right? Third red zone trip. Right after the interception, they're down 17-13, all right? So we got Smash Divide, which is something I've never seen the Raiders run before either in the red zone. So this is a new, uh, newer play, uh, but it is a known concept in the NFL, Smash Divide. That's where I was able to find it online on Google, guys. All right, so <laughs> we got Smash Divide here, right? And he wants Darren Waller on uh, the seam route, and then he wants, uh, comes back to Edwards at the bottom. So watch, right? You see here there, safety holds Darren Waller on the seam route, so he has to come off it. Right, he has to come off the seam, and he wants Brian Edwards uh, down below. But Brian Edwards stops. I don't know what Brian Edwards is doing. He stops. You see Derek Carr trying to wave him over. Like I don't know why he's stopping because if he keeps running, he has a pretty good chance to rush a touchdown. And then since Derek Carr is trying to make him go, he misses Darren Waller up at the top, right? Which we're going to come back to later. Okay, um, we're going to come back to that one later because it's going to come back on the fumble, trying to hold and make sure he can beat that safety to get to Darren Waller, right? So this is the fade route play. I mean, this one was just messed up by uh, the offensive line. Didn't give Carr a chance to throw this fade route with accuracy, okay? So we got the two slants inside. So we got the the, uh, the angle route from the running back. And then we got the, the slant route from Zay Jones, all right? And then we got the fade route from Darren Waller. And I mean, Derek Carr wants to fade this whole time. He's going to try to hold this safety, right? He's going to make Logan Ryan go to Kenyon Drake here. So watch this, guys. He's going to make Kenyon Drake go to, right, Logan Ryan jumps him, and then it's perfectly, no, because there's pressure, right? And then this, like I said, this one's on the offensive line. I still have no idea what Andre James was doing on that one because, I mean, you got to help John Simpson there if he's getting beat and you're not blocking a damn person. All right, so here we go. We got Kenyon Drake on this play. I mean, this is a kind of a waste play call too, in my opinion. I don't know what's happening there, but hey, I mean, if we're trying to get some screens going. I mean, that's how they got down the field there. 
It's just an interesting call, play call. Because then they ran the ball the next play. It got a little interesting. And then, then, then this one was also an interesting play call to me. Because this one is featuring Josh Jacobs on a pass running mesh. Okay, so this is like using Josh Jacobs as a receiver. Like I, I talked about how Greg Olson has a, a, a better view of Josh Jacobs than John Gruden does as a receiver. And so he's featured here, and then I still don't know why he didn't keep running on this one. But let's let's talk about this is a mesh. Like this is a good play call too, I think, for especially for the down and distance. It's third and six. Um, I mean, this is a, a good concept, especially against man-to-man, -man, which the Giants are playing, and it creates an open lane for josh jacobs and it should have been an easy pass right but then the stunt colton miller and john simpson both allow reggie raglan to get into the backfield which makes Derek carr have to throw off his back foot back and up he can't put as much volume onto this throw he has to loft it but i still don't understand why josh jacobs turned around i think he had a better chance of actually still running forward and making that play right and here's a sack fumble uh, we're gonna break this one down this is a like this is smash return wide post and i'm gonna show you kind of why Derek carr fumbled on this one i mean mostly because colt miller got beat like immediately but um so we got the smash return wide post and like i said we had the same kind of seam route from darren waller earlier and Derek carr did not wait for him to clear that linebacker right he came off it and he came to brian edwards this time though he's gonna try to wait for Dar for Darren Waller to clear, okay? Because he, he feels like he could throw a touchdown here. So we got the seam route, right? Stop it right here. You see Darren Waller, he's gonna come up over that linebacker at any second. That linebacker is not backing up. It's about to be open, and that's where Darren that's where Derek Carr is going with this football. He's going to throw to Darren Waller. It's it's gonna be a touchdown, guys. I mean that's what's the most upsetting part of this one. That nobody it none of the red zone things would have mattered if Colt Miller doesn't get beat there. And Derek Carr throws that touchdown to Darren Waller, which I don't know. He's been inaccurate all game. He might have missed it. But anyways, guys, uh, that's the Car Facts for the week. Uh, you know, make sure you subscribe. Red Zone Issues, you guys can see it. It was just dumb mistakes, bad throws. It wasn't really something that we should freak out about because the designs are great. All right? I'm out. Peace.